Good morning. Uh, what's going on there, guys? The Earth Master here on this Sunday morning. Uh, afternoon for some, of course. Uh, it is January 16, 2022, about 11 a.m. California time. Uh, looking at the latest quake, a 4.4 earthquake into the South America region. Uh, somewhat deep at uh, 111, 111 kilometers below the surface. Uh, a little bit different uh, story today when it comes to activity and also a little bit calmer conditions when it comes to uh, no tsunami warnings or advisories uh, today from any uh, volcano eruptions. Uh, it was a pretty crazy day the last day or so. Looking at the latest map here from the EMSC, still shows continued movement around the Tonga area where that, uh, of course, the eruption kind of popped off there, uh, not last night, but the night before from the Hunga Tonga volcano, only a small uh, earthquake there, about 4.1 within that region. We are seeing some continued movement here up to the north and west along the Indonesia islands, uh, where we've seen quite a bit of uptick in movement over the last, uh, uh, well, overnight and during the day yesterday. Quite a bit of activity stretching up into that region along the Java Trench as well. Uh, looking at the latest quake, at least here on this map, is a 4.2 earthquake. Uh, into the uh, GNC, it looks like about 35 minutes ago, where they have been seeing a little swarm of movement, 5.3, 4.6, uh, and then, of course, that 4.2 just kicking off there in that region of the world. Looking at the USGS map here, still shows that activity ramping up through the Indonesia region, and, of course, <clears throat> right around the GNC. We'll zoom in here for a little bit and uh, take a look at detailed earthquake activity. These guys actually have it set as a 5.5, so a little bit larger on the magnitude than the EMSC. And of course, a couple fours kicking up there uh, following that 5.5 uh, earlier. Uh, also up in the Romania area, 4.3, 141 kilometers into the mountain ranges up here. Uh, looking back to the east, uh, we've seen that one from last night, uh, just outside the Turkey area, 4.4. And then down here around Kuwait, uh, 4.6. And it looks like another one hiding down there, 4.8. There in the... Iran area. Uh, further down south and east, not a whole lot going on through China. Uh, there's the activity around the Java Trench. Actually, these guys aren't showing as much as the uh, EMSC was showing, but there's definitely some activity kicking up here uh, below the 4.0 threshold. We did have a 6.1 near the uh, Papua New Guinea area uh, overnight, early this morning actually. Uh, 408.1 kilometers for the depth there. Pretty deep earthquake movement kicking off uh, just to the west of the Solomon Islands there on the Papua New Guinea area. 6.1, pretty uh, pretty good sized quake there in that region. Looking at some further activity here around the Vanuatu area and the Fiji area south of Samoa, all seeing some deeper movement as well. Uh, and of course, uh, they're not showing the, uh, the uh, Tonga quake here anymore, but that was a 5.8 earthquake i do want to show you guys this little movement here uh maybe not let's go back that far see if we can pick up seven days yeah yeah looking at seven days here we're kind of looking at the spottiness of activity around the hunga tonga volcano prior to the eruption of course these guys that volcano has been having some uh, uh some phases of minor eruptions <clears throat> over the past few years and of course last uh uh, not Saturday night, but Friday night was the uh, kind of a big one when it comes to the eruption. But uh, it hasn't always been quiet. It's definitely been showing signs of unrest and whatnot in that region. Uh, but, uh, you know, uncertainty on if, uh, if there's been a whole lot of talk on the uh, potential for a tsunami from that type of eruption. But then again, any volcano, right, uh, near sea level or under, under the uh, water, they're definitely uh, capable of producing a tsunami. That one there, uh, not a big one, but uh, it did scare quite a few folks there and uh, create a little bit of uh, excitement for the weekend along the West Coast and other areas. But uh, looking at the last seven days or so of activity, we did see uh, some movement along the Tonga Trench. Of course, uh, the subduction zone here where the, uh, the uh, Pacific Plate kind of subducts here in this region. And of course, the further down dip you get, uh, you, you run into the uh, hotter material and it, of course, starts to melt, right? And there you get these volcanoes up here along this region. And uh, that's kind of what we're seeing. But, uh, you know, it's, it, 
haven't really looked at anything out of the ordinary there over the last week or so. Just continued deep movement around the Fiji Islands area. The only oddball activity was this uh, Kermadec Trench uh, swarm, if you will, bunch of bunch of uh, well, we've seen a 6.2 and a couple other shallower fives within that region. Not a whole lot of deeper movement down here uh, in that area, but we sure did throughout the Fiji Islands area, uh, which could be a, a contributor, of course, to the uh, volcanic activity around the Tonga region. Uh, looking at the uh, all magnitudes once again, of course, these guys are not showing any movement here around the Tonga area. So keep an eye on that uh, volcano pretty closely. Uh, up around the Japan area, not a whole lot of new movement to report. 4.2 from yesterday and also a uh, 4.1 up in the Aleutian Trench. But overall, things still remain relatively quiet along the Japan area and the Aleutian Trench for now. Uh, Hawaii, a little bit of activity kicking up there around the southeast flank and also Kilauea Volcano up here where this swarming is. And uh, nothing really new to report in this region. Just continued activity and continued monitoring there. Uh, on the Big Island, nothing kicking off there at the Lower Hee Seamount, the underwater uh, volcano. West Coast, uh, well, it, uh, it's there. <laughs> There's not a whole lot going on there today. A little bit of movement on the southern part of the state, uh, the Pacific side of the plate boundary, with some activity around the San Jacinto Fault area. Little microquakes kicking off there. No major swarming, no major unrest anywhere on any of the fault systems long valley super volcano just a couple scattered earthquakes outside of the caldera region and some microquakes at that nothing really kicking off here on the northern california side or the cascadia uh, where trimmer activity was once again quiet last night pacific northwest not a whole lot of movement either up here mount rainier shown some activity in mount st helens with a couple small microquakes in that region the uh, areas to the east here yellowstone pretty quiet at least according to that map We'll go ahead and check out the Yellowstone map here real quick. And it uh, looks like some of the data is still missing out there, which is um, just a little on the odd side. Uh, Lake Butte over here on the eastern side of the park showed some activity late last night. Since then, I'm not looking at a whole lot of renewed movement there uh, as far as earthquake activity goes in the uh, Yellowstone area. Oklahoma, some activity kicking up in the uh, Inid area, or northwest Inid, outside of Woodward as well. A couple uh, small microquakes around the region of the uh, oil injection and the uh, pumping operations out there. shouldn't say oil injection, but uh, oil and pumping operations out there. Uh, some threes kicking up outside of Pecos, Texas once again, Guadalupe Peak area. Uh, seen a couple earthquakes in that region. New Madrid zone and areas to the east of the east coast uh, look pretty quiet Puerto Rico region showing a pretty good seismic increase here over the last 24 hours a little line of movement through the Virgin Islands upward towards the Puerto Rico trench uh, where we're seeing some deeper activity as well around the uh, Mono Seamount and this quake right here 3.5 pretty close to the Puerto Rico trench uh, at 10 kilometers below surface Areas to the south, as I mentioned, not a whole lot going on in the South America region. 4.4 uh, there at 111 kilometers. And uh, South Sandwich Islands kicking up a little bit as well. This place, uh, or this area, had a, a few quakes here yesterday. Looks like that's continued uh, late last night and over, uh, over overnight this morning too. Uh, a couple 5.3s there, one of them 121 kilometers into the uh, subduction zone. Uh, Earthquakes Canada, not a whole lot going on. We can go ahead and check that map just for fun. Looks like uh, continued dwindling activity along the west coast over here. And with the latest quake, uh, still the latest one on the map from uh, yesterday, 4.0. Uh, in that area of the uh, northern territories, northwest territories. Uh, nothing going on on the Tsunami Warning Center. Everything's been canceled, folks. Uh, they did s stick up there for a little while. Uh, still the uncertainty. I think uh, I think the reason for continuing the advisory for so long along the West Coast and other areas was due to the fact of just some rude, strong waves. Uh, I noticed that when I was over along the coast yesterday looking for tsunami uh, um, uh, waves and whatnot, you know, at least maybe some rough seas. We did see some rather large series of waves kick up there 
uh, during low tide. And uh, it was pretty cool to watch. But uh, I think that's the reason why they left that up for so long, just due to the fact that, uh, you know, there could be some some uh, back, some some rather large back waves coming, you know, after the main arrival there, if you will, of the uh, earlier tsunami that hit roughly around, it was like 8, 9 in the morning yesterday along the West Coast. But uh, the tsunami advisory lasted all day up into the night last night. So I uh, <clears throat> just find it kind of strange, but did have some activity kicking up um for sure uh along the west coast nothing uh too damaging uh checking out the buoys they are still all in event mode from yesterday looks like they were maybe going to reset a couple looks like a couple got reset over here but you can see all up and down the uh, subduction zones here and northern california all uh, still in event mode down here in south america as well of course that shows a uh, obvious uh, reading in the uh, wave height, right? You can kind of see that from yesterday, but it's uh, still kind of kicking in there, which is kind of odd, but I'm sure they'll reset these, get them back to uh, operational. Even over here along the East Coast, a little bit of an odd break in the data. Uh, let's see what else we got. Uh, space weather. I think we're kind of toning down a little bit on the space weather. Let's go ahead and look at that uh, right now. Completely forgot all about that. Going with the earthquake activity. Looks like uh, we did hit a G6 class or a KP index of 6. Uh, G2 storm on the 15th. Uh, that was kind of a little bit higher than what they were expecting. And things kind of toning down now over the next uh, couple nights. With dwindling uh, geomagnetic storming there on the forecast. Solar activity is currently at low levels. Sunspot activity uh, still there, but uh, nothing significant. Only a 75% chance C flare. Looks like they have raised a 20% chance of an M flare and 5% chance of an X flare uh, over over. Uh, let's see, it's got to be 29:32. See which sunspot this is. Twenty-nine twenty-nine. It looks like. 29, 29, 29, 32. One of those right there will be uh, producing 29, 29, 29, 32 up here. This one looks about the most dynamic. It is kind of earth facing, but uh, is slowly uh, will be facing away from the earth here soon. But uh, that's got somewhat dynamics of producing a flare. And those are uh, probably the obvious sunspots there capable of producing anything significant. All right, guys, um, have a good day. Stay safe out there and uh, just kind of watching the calm at the moment. See what uh, today brings. Of course, a new week tomorrow. Feeling a little bit better. Uh, got some of my taste and my smell back, but not perfectly normal yet. It's getting there. Uh, so hopefully that comes back really, really soon because uh, I miss tasting my coffee. And, uh, you know, I like to smell stuff, too. I mean, it's just... It, <laughs> it's a weird, it's been a weird few weeks for me when it comes to sickness and illness, let me tell you. All right, guys, have a good day, and uh, we will chat to you a little bit later. I am still sending out some stickers, decals. I uh, got a new batch in, a couple new batches already. I just got to uh, find time to uh, get them out in the mail. Of course, I did send out 100 of them. Uh, was it last week, early last week, or the week before? And I appreciate those uh, letting me know that they got the uh, decals in the mail. You guys are welcome. And I will be sending out uh, oh, probably another good hundred more in the mail sometime this week. I'll definitely get around to it. And uh, all right. We'll chat you guys a little bit later. Stay safe out there, folks.